Are these exchanges equal? Now, that's a very interesting question, because when I, when I trained to be a missionary priest, it was very clear to me that I was going to bring the truth to those people out in those places. However, as I grew in my vocation as a missionary priest, I began to see that the peoples of the Philippines, the peoples of Taiwan and others had a lot to offer me as well. And one of the things I was very insistent on in the process for China was that it would be an equal exchange. It would have been so easy to say the China church had suffered so much and we needed to help it so much to grow and develop and that we would do all the giving. Uh, but I try to have it that it would be an equal exchange and therefore we would try to be learning from the faith of the Catholic people and m more recently that we would be trying to learn from the ingenuity of the Chinese people. When you think about it, the uh, GDP growth rate here in Britain is, a, is less than is 1% now. It's still 7 in China and it was about 10. So the ingenuity of the Chinese people has something to offer as well and their manner of dealing with issues has something to offer. So that was a very, very important thing for me that there would be mutual exchange not just bringing students out here to learn and go back because we taught them, but also that even while they're here, the students go around to parishes and exchange their story with the, with the parishes here, so that the story of the Catholic Church in China and of truth in China can be presented to the people here for their, for their benefit.